burly so Hello everybody and welcome back to Burly Soul. I'm your host Purified and today we're taking a look at how to change the needle on the Brother 1034D serger. This is a four thread serger so it uses two needles and the first thing you want to do to be able to get in here and see everything you want to see is take that front panel down and then release the foot and you do that just like any other sewing machine. I always find it easier to push the presser foot lever up a little bit and it helps it slide out a little bit easier. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that the needles are in the raised position and I like to do this with the knife off because the knife can get in the way. So you can see how the knife goes up and down when you rotate the hand wheel towards you. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna look on the left side of our machine here and you can see the lever and we're gonna disengage the cutting knives and here's a little better shot of where you do that and that'll give us a little bit more access to the needles so now go ahead and roll your hand wheel so that your needles are in the up position without the looper being in your way so just kind of stop right there and now you've got a clear shot to the needle themselves now there's two ways that you can do this. You can see these needles are threaded and you can leave them threaded. That'll help when the needles drop out of the holder to not lose the needles. The thread will hang in there. But I'm gonna get rid of the thread here just so that we can see a little bit better. Now you're gonna wanna take your index finger and your thumb and you wanna get a good grasp on these two uh, needles and then your machine came with an Allen wrench and you simply, to loosen it, it's the same laws, lefty loosey, righty tighty, and you just give it a good turn left and that'll loosen up the needle holder and here's a little better view. And when you're turning left, you don't wanna loosen it too much, you just wanna loosen it enough where you can easily slide both needles out and then reinsert the needles when it comes time to do that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to just insert one needle because you can do different types of stitches with this machine depending upon if you have the inside or the outside or the left or the right needle inserted. I'm inserting the right needle right now and then you just tighten it up with your Allen wrench. And if you look at the very top, right above where I'm screwing there, you can see there's two different height stops and you'll see here on the when I insert the left position of the needle as I slide it up it stops there because your left needle is always a little bit higher than your right needle so now we've inserted it in the left position and then next I'll go ahead and loosen this up and insert both needles at the same time same rules as most sewing machines flat to the back so you've got your flat edge and I'll show you that here in a second. You can see the, you'll be able to see the flat edge. Let me turn this around. Flat to the back. And it's easier to do both needles when you want both needles in at the same time than trying to put one in and then, and then another. And just make sure that there's no like lint or anything on your, on the head of your knee, on the top of your needle. So we'll go ahead and we'll slide those in together and then you'll see on the top that the right side is touching the very top stop and you can't quite see the left there yet let me get a little bit I got I'm actually going to have to loosen this just a little bit more so it slides a little freer like I said you don't want to go too far out but you don't want to have it too tight either now you can see that both the top of both needles there are touching the stops and then if you look at the bottom you can see that the tip of the left needle is raised a little bit versus the tip of the right. And that's basically it. That's all you have to know about inserting and taking out your needles. Before we wrap up here, I'll show you a couple of close-up still shots of what it looks like with both needles inserted and then just the right and then just the left and then a split screen with both of them side by side so you can get an idea. If you like the video, please subscribe. 
Check out the channel for other videos on the serger and embroidery and digitizing. Leave your comments below. Thanks for watching, everybody. This is Purified, and you've been watching Burley, so.